Hi everybody, my name's Anthony from uh, mylassahapso.com. As you can see, I've just been finishing my nails off and uh, we throw the rubbish away. We don't want that on the table. And uh, today we're going to learn how to clip our claws on our lassarapso. And uh, we're not going to use these. These are for us humanoid type of people. We're going to use a pair of claw clippers which uh, you can find anywhere on the internet or from your local pet store and uh, let's take a close look at these now and see how they function taking a nice close look at these they're uh, nice and soft they've got nice rubber handles easy uh, easy to hold a bit small for my big hands but uh, ideal for ladies that have uh, lasso apsos so now then what have we got on here we've got a nice big return spring a bit like garden clippers garden snippers whatever you want to call them so they always return to the open position ready to get in there there's obviously a lock so that uh, they stay nice and uh, closed so um, next thing we can see on the back here there is a little shield it's a bit of a stiff thing to move oh do it the right way Tony and we'll see how it works um, there you can see the opening snip close now this little shield slides across and limits the amount of claw that you put through the cutter the clippers so if the dog's claws are too long then you can cut off uh, four five six millimeters of, of claw each time but if they're a regular on the pavement and they naturally wear down you just want to do a little trim then you slide that piece back over and now this will only allow 2.5 millimeter of claw this this is like an, a stop so you push the claw and it stops and you cut it's as simple as that and by doing it this way you're never going to cut into the the white piece of the wick as they call it um, that's where they bleed and it hurts them I and your, your dog will let you know it'll give you a little little yelp and uh, okay so th that's the claw clipper let's go now and look at Lucky's claws and I will show you the white piece where you must not cut um, much like our own fingernails uh, when we cut too far in they bleed and they hurt us so um, the same thing with the dog Okay, so it's as simple as that. We'll take a look now. Here's Lucky. Uh, I just found him been running around in the garden. He's got some little wet toes at the moment. But we're going to take a close look now at his claws and I'm going to show you the, the areas that you mustn't cut into because it make him cry. So here's Lucky's little claws and uh, we're going to see. He doesn't like this much. Um, I've let them grow a bit longer, especially for this video. But you can see here that part there. This is how much you mustn't cut into this piece here. That's living and uh, will make him cry. So let's get on and just clip a little bit now with the clippers. So keeping the guard on, I'm just going to put two millimeters through and clip like that. Simple as that. I'll do another two. There. Lucky doesn't like this poor fella, so we do it quickly now. And voila, two millimeters at a time, Lulu. And we can see it's not hurting him. He, he's crying because he doesn't like it. There, that one's done, Lucky. Okay, good boy. So, so now on a close up, you can see that they've been just clipped back a little bit. Keep your keep your feet still, Lulu. And voila. That's all you need to do, a couple of millimetres uh, from time to time, and uh, the dog will be fine. Thanks everybody for watching this video on how to cut the claws of your lasso apso. If you haven't already, I suggest you go and take a look at mylassaapso.com where you can find loads of information about this beautiful little dog. Hey Lulu, say goodbye to folks. Bye bye folks. So, he's off. Oh, he's gone. Bye everybody, see you soon.